Hey planner friends, it's Ashley. Today I'm going to show you how I am setting up a project planner. Here's the thing, this project planner is for a um, very specific project. <laughs> I've debated on the title of this planner for quite some time now because here's what it's for. Our goal, the dream, the plan for 2021 is to hopefully be able to build our house. But there's a lot of factors that are going into that, um, a lot of things happening in the world that may may make that very hard to do this year. It might be something that has to wait until next year, which is totally fine. I'm not going to stress about it. I'm hoping that we get to build a house in 2021, but if not, it's all good. Um, but anyways, I do want to get a planner set up for that so I can start to keep track of the things that we need to do around the house now. Um, I can keep track of like research, of um, design ideas, and different things like that. So I need to get a planner set up for that. So here's what I have to do that. I have two of these colorful boxes sticker books and I will show you how I'm going to use those here shortly. This planner here is an hourly uh, happy planner and I had initially got this to use it and then I ended up getting an extension pack that I liked a little bit more so I'm using the extension pack currently for my hourly planner but for this one I'm going to use the dividers because this was a July start planner. I don't think I got this until like November. Um, so anyways I want to use some of the dividers out of here because I don't use the monthly section in my hourly planner anyways, so I'm not worried about using those. They're just gonna set on my on my uh, shelf and I thought this would be a great way to actually use the stuff that I have. And I really love the dividers in here anyways. They're really cute, really pretty. So I'm gonna use those to have different categories within this planner. And then this here is a, uh, basically a notebook, I guess you could call it. I have a bunch of different lined happy note paper inside of this notebook. So I'm gonna use some of that note paper to fill in the planner that I am creating. And then I also have the gorgeous Mickey Mouse custom cover that the Happy Planner sent me in one of my squad boxes, which I love. I chose to have the Andersons on here because I knew, um, like whenever the Happy Planner mentioned to us that we would be getting this and we got to customize it, I knew that I wanted to use this as our home planner, our project planner for our future build. So I got the Andersons put on that. And then I also have the Mickey Mouse, whoops, the Mickey Mouse discs that we're gonna stick these on. These are really cute. And then right up here, I have a sticky note where I've outlined some of the sections that I wanna put inside of this planner. So I'll walk you through my process, the sections, what I'm using each, each section for, and I'll explain explain all the details as we go. So I'm gonna go ahead really quickly and put the discs on this really cute cover. Talk to me, baby. Okay, there's that. Now the first thing that I need to do is decide on which dividers I'm going to use. There was, I was looking through this, there was a couple of them that I really liked. I like this one. Stay positive, work hard, make it happen. That kind of goes along with a goal, right? She's got the whole purpose, driven warrior princess, save the world type of vibe. That one's really cute. There's November, boss lady, that one's cute too. I like this one, just go for it. Um, how many of these do I need? One, two, three, four, five. I'll probably put six inside of here just so I have an extra one in case I come up with a new section that I need to add inside of there. So there's, that would be two of them. There's three because that one's really cute. Okay, here's how we're gonna do this. Hold on. I'm going to grab some sticky notes. This one is from August and I'm gonna title these because I can always come back and reuse this planner and I just need to know what month it was. So we're gonna use this one. use this one which is for January so that's two of them 
we're going to use February. Those two are really cute. Here's May. And here is June. So I'm going to use that one. Now, if I do decide to go back and use this planner, like I said, I don't use the monthly section, so it doesn't really matter. I usually just use the weekly section in my hourly planner. Uh, so I'm not worried about that. It does kind of suck that I won't have a divider in that section of my planner, but I'm really not worried about it because like I said, I'm not using it anyways. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Um, that is one, two, three, four, five. We need one more. What does July look like? Oh my, inspire others. I might do a plain one. Like this one. This one's really cute. And this one is from April. All right, so there's gonna be the dividers. So I have those, and then what I'm gonna do, also you guys might hear my chair squeaking. Sorry, it's squeaky. Tried to fix it, but it just doesn't like me. <laughs> so I'm gonna take these dividers, and I'm gonna use these smaller black stickers here, the box stickers, and I'm gonna cover up the months, because again, I'm not using these for months inside of there, I'm gonna have these for different categories. So I'm gonna take those, and we're going to write out what the categories are. And I will explain these categories to you once I start adding the paper in there. All right, for the backs of these, I think I'm just gonna put some of those box stickers over the months. I'm not gonna title them. Then again, maybe I should. You know what, I am gonna title them. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make more of those box stickers so I can put it on the back of the pages. Hey, it's voiceover Ashley. I just wanted to let you know that I did not end up filming me writing all of these categories out again. To put on the back side it was literally the same process as the front i'm going to take these pages here and i'm going to use this side of them we're going to like adhere this to this so that's what you'll see whenever you flip this over and you won't see that monthly section so what i'm going to do to do that is first we're going to add these onto the discs because whenever you're adhering pages together I've noticed that most of the time it's easier to do it if the pages are already on the disc so let me add those really quickly and then I'll show you what I'm using to stick those pages together
And as always, I have my coffee. All right, so I'm gonna take Tombow double-sided adhesive tape to stick these pages down. And like I said, the best way to do this that I have found anyways is to do it on the discs. So there we go, that is one of them down. So when you take this, you'll see this section here, you flip it over, boom, it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of these really quickly. Ah, oh, you guys, I literally ran out on the last one. Oh my goodness gracious, that could have not worked out any better. It really couldn't have. I didn't get as much placed in the center. And the only reason why I place a few strips in the center is because whenever you don't, if you don't get them lined up really well, which I usually don't, but if you don't get them lined up really well, it can kind of create this little bubble in there, this little air bubble. So I like to put the strips in the center so it helps keep that from happening, but I'm not really worried about it on this one. And you'll see here, I'll show you, I did not, some of these I think was thinking that the notes page that I use is a little bit bigger because it's lined up really well on this side, but it's sticking out up here. And then one of these I totally, totally laid it down wrong. Like this one right here. Is it this one? That one's a little off. Maybe it was this one. Was it this one? It was this one. Okay. This one here. I definitely laid that one down crooked so you can see there, but I will go back off camera, I'm not gonna make you guys watch it, but I'm just gonna go back with a pair of scissors and I'll cut over top of that. That's not a big deal, so I'm not really worried about that. But what I am gonna do now is I'm gonna take some of this note paper and I'm gonna start to fill this up. Hey, I wanted to let you guys know too that I recently went through all of my happy notes and I kind of reorganized everything and I put like line paper in certain happy notes and like dot grid and different things like that. So. Let me know down in the comments section if you want me to create a video showing you how I organized all of it, how I categorized everything. I have classic size happy notes, I have a big, I have some skinny classic, I also have a mini happy notes that I kind of just stuck everything together and I have different categories for everything. So let me know down in the comments if that's a video you're interested in seeing. All right, I'm gonna get all sappy with you here for just a minute, which I normally don't do, but it needs to be said. I just love you guys. I just love you. And I, and I have to tell you that I am incredibly thankful that you are watching my videos, that you support my channel, you support me over on Instagram, you comment, you engage with me, like I love it. And I need to say this in every single video. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so stinking much for supporting me. I am incredibly thankful for, for that and for you watching and just being a, being a planner friend and being a part of this community with me. I love it so much and I love y'all and I just want to let you know that. Okay, sappy moment is over. All right, now that the planner is all set up and ready to go, I'm gonna walk you through each section and explain to you how I plan on using them. So this first section here says current projects, and this is where I will keep track of the things that we need to get done around our current home to update it a little bit. So I took some lined paper, and this is where I will write out some of the smaller things, things that can be fixed maybe in a couple of hours or um, just like the smaller, the smaller projects that need to be done. But then I also stuck in some of these project pages for some of the bigger things that we need to do. For example, we need to update our kitchen flooring. Oh my gosh, it's like so old school, it needs to be updated. And that deserves its own, own page. So uh, I did stick some of these in here. I doubt we'll be using all of these. There's really not a lot of things that we need to update or do around here, but there is something. So I did stick 
some of those project sheets in there to have those. This section here is for research and this is for literally anything and everything that I'm researching. Actually, we want to build a barn dominium and I've been watching a lot of videos about it. And in those videos, they're giving out great tips and advice and like what, what to do versus what not to do. And I haven't been writing that stuff down, which felt really pointless. So I'm really excited to have this section where I can keep track of all that information. And here I just chose line paper because it's really just like notes. And I just chose different types of line paper, some different styles. This section here is probably my favorite one. This is for design ideas. It's also my favorite divider. Look at how gorgeous that is. I love it. So for this section, I chose dot grid paper because what I plan on doing is like, let's say I'm scrolling Pinterest and I see, I don't know, kitchen cabinets that I love and I love the color of them or the style of them or whatever. Well, I can print that out and stick it in here and then make some notes about that photo and what I love. So like, let's say this one would be titled kitchen and then I could print out a few photos and kind of how I want to design the kitchen. And then I'll have like, you know, 10 or 12 sheets for how I want to design my craft room. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely a priority. So that's what that section is for. Definitely my favorite section inside of this planner. This one here is for our layout. So what me and my husband has actually already done is we sat down and kind of decided how we want to lay out our future home. I don't even know if this will work. We're obviously not uh, professionals at this. This is not an actual blueprint. But we did kind of map out what we want everything to look like and how we want the layout to be. But what I'm actually going to do inside of this section is like, let me show you say here this is um, the kitchen over here well then I can take a pencil and again I'm not this is not like an actual blueprint I don't know if any of this stuff is going to work out but I like doing this because when we do sit down with the contractor we can kind of show the contractor our childlike designs and then they can give us input on whether or not it's feasible but like let's say this is the kitchen and this here would be like counters right this here would be an island. Maybe we'd have our kitchen table, this over here. And then this would be like a chair. Say the best looking chair ever. Love it. Um, but then once I start to kind of map this out, then I can say, okay, let's say I want to put the sink here. Well, then I know I want some windows here. I like looking out the windows while I'm doing the dishes. So we got to have windows there. But then maybe the stove is going to be here. I don't know, fridge here. Again, I don't know if this stuff is actually feasible to do, but it at least gives some direction to the contractor um, whenever we get to that process. And it's also really fun to do. I love doing this. This makes me excited and it kind of helps guide, uh, guide the process for everything. So that's what I'll do for this section. Like I'll have one for the kitchen, bathroom, bedrooms, you know, a couple for the craft room, like I said, got to get very, very detailed with that. <laughs> so I have some of those pages there. And then this section here says the details. I really didn't know what to title this section, but this is going to be where maybe we budget or if we talk to a couple of different contractors, we can write their names out, their contact information, um, kind of what we talk to them about or whatever, just kind of make some notes about that. Um, if we talk to the bank, like just all the details, I guess, really, which is why I called it that. I did stick some of these pages in here. These are actually from the social media pages from the Happy Planner. And I thought these would be great to have uh, to kind of recategorize. So like, let's say we talked to the bank and the bank gave us um, some, I don't know, some quotes or something. I could write all that information down here. So that's what those pages are for. I also stuck some line paper in here in case I need to make notes or anything. And then I do have this section back here, but it is blank. I don't know if I'm going to need it, if I will add anything to it or not, but it's here just in case, because once I start getting inside of this planner and I start using it more, I may realize, oh, wait a minute, I need a new section or I need to add this back here. So this is a just in case section. I didn't end up adding any note paper in here. I didn't feel like I needed to, but if I do end up using it, I will add some note paper inside of it. So that is going to be our project planner. If you have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to ask. If you have any tips, let me know. If you've ever built a house before and you've been through that process, definitely give me all your tips. I have a whole section for it. It's for research. I would love to put your tips inside of here, so let me know. But if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.